Hey, what's going on my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'd like to do a quick review on uh, A Quiet Place 2. Just checked it out last night with the girlfriend and um, I enjoyed it. I actually thought it was better than the first movie. Of course, is the second installment to the A Quiet Place series uh, by John Krasinski, who's a director. I'm not sure if he's an executive producer, probably is. The new movie um, stars Emily Blunt, of course. Um, new blood in the franchise, uh, Cillian Murphy. I do like him as an actor. The original cast, as far as the kids are back, John Krasinski makes an appearance as well. Minimal spoilers in this review. Um, I'll try to keep it short and to the point. Yeah, so again, um, overall, did I enjoy the movie? Yes, I did. Um, I thought it was everything the first movie was uh, and then some. It was just more of the same, more of the same, but uh, more well done. There was a little backstory on um, the creatures, whether they're an experiment, whether they're aliens. You kind of piece it together in the first segment of the film. But they still left it a little bit ambiguous uh, for a third movie. And um, I definitely would like to see their origins explored. Uh, maybe see other parts of the um, the globe, you know, being invaded or whatever you want to call it. There's a lot to explore in that series, definitely. For sure, there's going to be a third movie. So if I could go down a list of the likes of the film, um, I thought the special effects were adequate. You know, not top notch, but good enough for the creatures. They look they look cool. They look scary. They show them in broad daylight, which is usually difficult, you know, uh, for creature features and CGI. But I think they they pulled it off. I wish the movie was rated R. You know, I'm not a big uh, PG-13 fan. Um, I believe this one was PG-13. They really didn't show a whole lot of gore. And I feel for like a creature feature, monster film, uh, alien, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, it, sh it should be uh, should have some gore, but they did their best for PG-13. There were some jump scares. I'm not a big fan of jump scares either. I think it's kind of cheap. Um, you see a lot of jump scare uh, tactics in movies like uh, Insidious. Like I said, it, you know, you want to legitimately be scared by good writing and uh, scary scenes, not necessarily loud noises, you know, uh, uh, loud music and bangs and pops. Some of that in a movie, but that's okay. You know, I know uh, jump scares, they usually get your average fan. Most people are not thinking about, you know, great writing when they go see like a scary horror movie. Acting was pretty good, you know. Um, I would say Emily Blunt's always good. Emily Blunt is a really good actress. The children in the film did a great job. I thought it was like above above average acting for the type of movie. Some inconsistencies um, with the writing. Like if these things showed up on a meteor, um, I know they have armor, but how did they survive the, the crash landing like on Earth? You know what I mean? Like that thing would have just exploded and created like a giant crater. Scientifically and physics wise, it doesn't make sense unless they were like embedded inside of it. But maybe that'll be explained in the third movie. Who knows? But you can't be too nitpicky with movies like this. You know, you got to take them for what they are. And like I said, overall, I did enjoy it. Gripes about the film. Um, Yeah, I mean, basically, it was a run of the mill, you know, um, alien horror monster movie. I mean, like the first film didn't really stand out and it wasn't really like special it wasn't really unique it was it was an enjoyable movie for what it was as well but i mean there's elements borrowed from like aliens um pitch black i mean we've seen creatures like this before you know it's nothing new the design of the main creature i think they're called uh, angels of death um they actually look really similar to the demigorgon from um stranger things i always thought that i uh, thought that was kind of funny but yeah, again, what could what could you do? Um, it's very hard to be original. Um, you're always gonna borrow from from somebody as far as like you know creatively. What can I grade the film? Um, I would give a Quiet Place Part Two for what it is. I'll give it a a B. You know, uh, maybe a B plus for the genre. I feel like it was better than the first movie. Again, had better pacing. You know, more action. A little bit more intense in my opinion um in some respects cillian murphy stood out to me i really like him as an actor would i recommend this movie to a fan of the genre um yeah i would i definitely would is the movie worth a ticket 
yeah if you're bored on a sunday i definitely want to go check it out um definitely a an at-home streaming watch for sure so yeah i don't know what else to say about the film um it was enjoyable i liked it and i would recommend it so that's my short review for a quiet place 2. um looking forward to the third film if you guys enjoyed this segment and this is your first time at the channel help the channel grow um like and share consider hitting that sub button Really appreciate it, guys. And until the next review or segment, you all take care.